Oh yeah, we can we can have twenty of the each type of Pikmin now to get the special song. It's true. That's a fun little Easter egg. I'll definitely be doing that at some point in this stream series. Whoa, 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 whoa. You got the survival series? These'll sell like hockatate cakes to scientists and entrepreneurs. All two of them, I guess. <laughs> oh, now that now we can get a sales pitch for these? Sales pitch. Uh, must have medical item for explorers. If you need powerful results, this is for you. It even comes with a testimonial from our employees. Use this and fear nothing ever again. <laughs> For chapstick? That's a little intense. A dependable item in crucial times. Stay safe by keeping one at home and one at the office. It is indispensable. If you are health conscious, buy this. You're guilt tripping people into buying your products by using fear tactics. It's not cool. We get enough of that IRL. Alright. Going back to Perplexing Pool. We're going to try Glutton's Kitchen today. One of the... Actually, it might be the last easy cave in the game. Depends on what, what people consider easy. Alright. So, for Glutton's Kitchen, we're gonna want white Pikmin. We're gonna want purple Pikmin. And we're gonna want yellow Pikmin. Well, hey! Come, my men. We ride. Uh, it would be nice to be able to get some nectar along the way. Because, um... Some people are going to slow down the party. <laughs> Just a little bit. Alright. Start with the yellow Pikmin, because we can throw them the furthest. Purple Pikmin can be a little annoying to get up here. There we go. Excuse me, Mr. Wallywog. Excuse me, Mr. Vunt, but I've got an injury. Wait. Oh, lame. We gotta take the long way around? Oh, that is true. Because the Hakatates are very tiny. I never thought about that before, but yeah, you may be right. I just find it amusing that something that we have as simple as chapstick, they're like, oh my gosh, this is like this legendary healing item. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, good. The Shearwigs are back. And so are the Land Leeches. I don't think that's their natural name, but that's the name I give them. <laughs> Hi, Snitch Bugs. No. I wanna I don't wanna deal with you, stupid snitch bug. <gasps> Ooh That's what we wanna see. Alright. That's fine. I just I wanted the purples to get that the nectar more than anything. Alright, off to Glutton's kitchen. Gonna be a lot of stuff here for us. We'll see. I bet you I'm gonna die to, I think, sub-level 4. Glutton's Kitchen, sub-level 1. This might be my favorite cave in the game. Really love the design, really love the treasures. And again, it's kind of like your last... easy cave. Not to say it's effortless. These little dwarf bull bears, they're they're easy. We'll take care of them. There we go. With purples, these guys are super easy. Because purples you don't even really have to aim properly.
But now we can take our time. Alright. This area is kind of weird, though. Like, the whole area is kind of like a children's playroom in a post-apocalyptic Earth. It's it's interesting. Okay, this, this guy can be a little annoying. It would be nice if we could get his attention. Just like that. Ah! No, no. Just go over the dumb wall. There we go. Purples are too fat. Grab that stick. Well, thankfully, we don't need to whistle for them, because they will just join us when we go to the next sub-level. Ooh. That looks like another fiend of chapstick. Oh, we actually did get... Oh. <laughs> it's a bunch of Pikmin that are stuck on the wall. It's another Mario paint. Peach Pink. The Master's Instrument. Is this chalk? Did Mario Paint have their own chalk line? <laughs> That's interesting. Oh, cool. Only one treasure for the first sub-level. Keep moving forward! I can't remember if there's anything buried underground in this dungeon, but I brought whites along just in case. And now I believe we're going to meet the main gimmick of the Glutton Kitchen. Okay, got to get rid of the male shear grubs before they eat us. Yep, here we go. This is the main gimmick of the <laughs> Glutton's Kitchen. These little guys, bread bugs. They're harmless, but what they'll do is they'll, they'll pick up treasures or corpses that are lying around, and then they'll try to drag them back to their den. What you want to do is oh, basically grab onto the same thing, overpower them, and then bring them back here. That deals high damage. Of course, you can also use Pikmin to land directly on their back. However, it does require a little bit of a precise shot. Purples don't home in on them too well. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Hey, man. Like I've said, they're har the only way that breadbugs can actually kill you is if they're dragging something back to their den, which is here. You have some Pikmin grab onto the same thing, but it's not enough to overpower them. Then they'll drag your Pikmin into their den and they'll die. It's just how it goes. Aha! No. How dare you? No. Take him back to the den. Not a treasure, just a random tarp lying out. That's interesting. No, oh, hey, don't don't go away. I want to have you for dinner. Poor male shear grubs. They're no match for a swarm of a hundred Pikmin. Few things are. Is the only fiend left the the uh, cookie? Oh, here's what we'll do. Hey, dude! Free corpse over there for you. Hey, wait, where are you going? He's like, oh, wait. Oh, that guy's seen some better days.
No, no, hey, get, get that back. No, 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 get that back. Give me that. Yeah, you can't overpower the purple. All right. There we go. Grab that cookie. <laughs> So now we'll let the bread bug grab onto this. Oh, and this is perfect! This bread bug is gonna get sucked up here, take a bunch of damage. <laughs> Ooh, it's like one of those cinnamon swirl cookies. The imperative cookie. Only 25 pokos, but hey, that's fine. And he wants to bring the corpse of his friend back to his den. We ain't letting him do that. So you heard that. I, I took out the bread bug and then we heard a drum sound effect. That means the, the bread bug had taken a treasure back to his den. Once you kill the bread bugs, their den disappears. And then any treasures that they took back there will pop out of it. There we are. Bring that back. Then that should be the last uh, treasure on this sub level. We can dig a little bit deeper. I always forget you can zoom out. Zooming out actually is probably going to be helpful in some of these later caves. <laughs> Being able to see everything on screen at once. Oh, it's another bottle cap! For you who cola Another 100 Pocos. The massive lid. How is, that's not any bigger than the others. But there we go. Alright, cool. Last treasure for the sub level. I can't remember if it's sub-level 3 or 4 that has the potential dan potentially dangerous enemy. It might be this one. Oh boy. Okay, no, I, I don't think it's this floor. Oh, there's a yellow flower. We can get more yellow pigment if we want, but I do not want. <laughs> I have 100 and I'm not giving up any purples or whites for yellows. That's a very bad trade. However, if there are electric fences around... Ah! Oh, hi! Okay, that is a new enemy. That's a puffy blow hog. He can't kill us, but he can blow the flowers off of our Pikmin, which is pretty much equally as annoying. Where'd he go? We'll keep that around in case we get, uh... We get blown by the Puffy Blowhog. Hey, Nintendo Addict! Welcome! Oh good, more nectar. Alright, here he is. There we go. Just toss Pikmin on his back. He won't be able to fly. Overpower him. Ooh. 
bonus. How delightful. <laughs> Eleven sprays. Why, thank you. Get my treasure. Oh, that's because the treasure is in the freaking bread bugs layer, that's why. Is there anything on the xylophone? I don't think so. Oh, okay. Alright, let's let the... I was gonna say let's let the bread bugs come to us, but nah. We can do... The, d the bread bugs we can kill with just a single purple Pikmin toss. There we go. Oh! I didn't realize there was more electricity stuff over here. Oh wow, there's actually a lot of the level left over here. Those purple Pikmin are stuck on the xylophone. Oh, hey, Marty! Welcome! <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't think you ever played this game, but yeah, I definitely played this a lot growing up. This is a fun one. 100 Pokos for a compass, the director of Destiny. <laughs> I'm calling all compasses that from now on. Bring everything back to base. Okay, yeah, it's th it's the next sub level that's gonna be the tough one. And by tough, I mean dangerous. Oh boy, is this a like broken locket? The harmonic synthesizer. Huh. This is a weird little treasure. Wait, that was the last treasure on the sublevel? But there's still so much of the floor we haven't explored. Or is it just a bunch of anode beetles? Oh man, then I. F <laughs> we got some weird luck with the pseudo random d dungeon generation. They put a bunch of the anode beetles and, uh, electric fences just totally out of the way. Oh, and that's the first of our ambush traps. Like, sometimes you can just be walking and an enemy will fall on top of your face. And that's how it is. Alright, well, there's a lot of nectar just lying out, so I think we should grab some of that before we go to the next sub-level. Yes, keep humming that Luigi's Mansion theme song. Alright. Dude, I literally threw you into the nectar puddle and you didn't drink it. Wow. Alright, we should all be flowers now. This is good. This is exactly what I want. Louie, I think you can walk over that. Like, it's not that big of a deal, but fine. We'll go We'll go the long way around. That's fine. Okay, sub-level four is gonna be the dangerous floor, but I'm, pre I'm prepared. I got- I got a plan. Whee! Deeper into the kitchen! Oh yeah, Marty, this is a ridiculously hard game. Like, definitely the toughest Pikmin game. Not even close. Alright, Glenn's Kitchen, sub-level four. Yep. So on this level, we're going to have a spotty bull bear, which is a giant bulborb type enemy who doesn't sleep, he just walks around, patrols, he's got a set path that he goes through. Very difficult to, to kill without any, any of your Pikmin dying. We're going to need the power of purples, 
And uh, bitter sprays, I believe. Come on, just kill him already. In fact, I think we're going to zoom out. Oh, yep, here he is. See? Oh, and he's coming this way! Oh, boy! And he's and he carries some uh, little spotty bull bears behind him. All right. Freeze him with the bitter spray, boom, and he dies. We ain't, we are not we're not dealing with him today. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I don't like the Wii, I don't like the Wii controls really for Pikmin. I definitely like the GameCube controls more. <laughs> Squirt! Only Harry Potter drinks that! <laughs> the happiness emblem, yeah right. Who drinks Squirt? It's grapefruit soda. Who in the world would want to drink grapefruit soda? <laughs> If you like grapefruit soda, then I apologize, but it holds no appeal for me. Wait. Come on. Breadbugs are some of the few enemies that the purple's homing skills don't really work on. Yes, yes. Oh, wait. Ugh. That was risky. If, if we were unlucky, he could have dragged them down to the underworld. Alright. There's a mug over here. Let's bring that back to base. I do love a good mug, after all. Also, I should be on the lookout, because, um... Yeah, there are still these little bull bears hanging out. But after after I murder after I turned their parent into rock and destroyed them, they're just like, what do we do? What do we do? Hmm. Nice mug. Ooh, 130 pokos. The invigorator. You know, I agree. I do enjoy beverages from mugs. It tastes I don't know about you guys, but when I drink like water from a glass. There's a weird taste to it. It's like you're drinking part of the glass. When you drink it from a mug, you get more of a pure flavor of the water. It, it does taste different. Also, if you use a personalized mug, nobody drinks out of it by accident. They just drink out of it on purpose. Right. Still very dark. Oh, yes, a bonbon. I like those. Bring that bonbon back to base. It is imperative. Hey, little bull bear. Alright, that should be the last treasure, then, once that bonbon bon gets back. Water bottles are also respectable. I just don't like glass with pure water in it. You do get a different taste out of those. Mmm. 60 Pocos. White goodness. Now, I'll be honest, I'm normally not that big of a white chocolate guy, because it's, um, it's not chocolate. There's no actual cocoa in it, but that does look good. Hmm. Uh, by bonus bosses, do you mean the bosses in the really tough caves in the end game? If so, the answer is yes. I'm I'm doing no deaths 100%. No deaths 100%. I'm gonna regret saying that because those final free dungeons are brutal. Actually, basically the second half of the dungeons are brutal. <laughs> 